Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so I want to do like a getting started an intro to Luby HD because I think since uh, Jimmy Fallon and, and Billy Joel did um, the thing on The Tonight Show uh, with River, River of Dreams, I think there's going to be a lot of interest uh, generated in this app and a lot of people new to, uh, to seeing how it works. So I'm going to give you a basic getting started tutorial sort of thing. So when you when you open Loopy, this is the kind of thing you're presented with, these six circles here. Now you can increase this to nine or twelve so you're not limited to just your six looped slots sort of thing. I would suggest that the very first thing you do when you open it is click this little button here and set reset session. Okay, so that'll give us a clean slate with no metronome, no ticking, no clock or anything. You need to switch, go to you can swing around here and it'll give you various various things and it'll say clock not started there and switch your little metronome on and go and locate this page here which at the top will say tap and then it'll be this here you can tap your metronome speed in or you can tap here and it'll start to play the metronome and then you can increase your speed for your loop up and down, okay. So that's it. That's it. So we're going to stick around that speed. Now, <clears throat> what we want to do is we're going to put in a, a little drum beat now, okay. So we could just record in via the iPad's microphone like they did, sort of thing. Um, but I'm going to put a little drum pattern in the first loop there, and then record some bass, and then maybe some guitar as well. So you guitarists out there and bass players can see how this works. Now there are lots of ways to get your instruments in to Loopy. You can use Audio Bus, which is another program we'll take a quick look at as well whilst we're recording our bass. But to get your guitar in, you're going to need a some sort of uh, guitar interface. Now I'm using iRig Pro, which just just plugs into the lightning connector on the iPad then you can plug a, a guitar in. You can see I've got my bass guitar plugged in there. has a gain control on the side there. Uh, as a little indicator there which will show you your input gain as you're playing your guitar sort of thing but you can also plug a microphone in a dynamic microphone or you can also plug a, a studio condenser microphone in as well because it has phantom power and also allows you to plug midi in but that's something else okay so what we're going to do now is just wanted to show you how to set that up. We're just going to switch our metronome off because we're not going to need that because I'm going to import a drum loop. Now, if we just long hold on any of these, you'll see you'll get some options. You'll hit share, import, volume, and pan, and then you can move it around like that and you can reverse the loop or and you can adjust the decay. Okay, so first of all, we're going to hit import and we're taking over to here, over, over there. Now, we have a general pasteboard on the iPad which allows us to save um, loops and things from other apps and import them into into Loopy and other other programs similar. But we're going to use one of the included built-in loops, which are here. Um, and we're just going to use dub drums. And it's automatically import into there. Now, we need to find this page, this little page here, which says one. That's the length of that loop, basically. The length of the loop is two, but our next loop will record over one. Well, I want to record it over a bit more than that. So I think I want to record over four. So if I just there, uh, we'll plug two, three, four. We know that this loop here will go on for four bars. Okay. Now I have, I think it's four bars anyway, but if we, I have this set up inside audio bus. And inside audio bus, I have uh, an app called Amp Kit, and I have it set with the Trace Elliott bass amp. So I'm just gonna just, and there it is, bass is plugged in. So I'm gonna go back to Loopy here, and I'm just gonna record a quick bit of bass. So all you need to do to start recording is hit this, and you'll see it'll count round. And when it gets to the stop, the top, it's ready to record. Two, three, four. Here you go. So it's 
So that's it, I've put the bass down now and the loop is set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn, I'm going to unplug my bass and go and grab my guitar. Plug the guitar in. There you go. And now I'm gonna go back to Amp Kit and choose a preset. So let's see, um, we've got presets here. We can choose any of these, and it comes with you. It comes with some amps and stuff. So let's just have a quick look around for something that. Uh... Straight away, you can see how how great it is to get your um, get your ideas down. I may have been clipping a little bit, is it? set on four bars hit the next loop here we go now we can go on and on we could record a little bit more wanted to and if I change that now up or down that our next loop will be down okay so now we've got this we can stop any loop, any time, and start it off. We can also adjust the volume. If we want, if we just hit here sessions and we can save current session, name it oh, guitar thing done, save, and it's there. And then we can load up any of our other sessions if we wanted to, uh, but we'll stick with the guitar thing. So there you go. So we can stop it. Once we stop it, we can choose what we want to start. So that's how simple and easy it is to get started with Loopy. Like I said, you have loads and loads of different options, um, all, all different types of settings for, and for MIDI as well. Uh, for microphone monitoring, for live input recording. Like I said, you can adjust, you can choose how many loops that you want to work with, up to 12. But say, for instance, 
uh, you've got this and you've gone, oh God, I, I, I want to put some more in, you know, I've got, I've, I've really gone mad here and I've got loads of great ideas. What, what you can do is you can merge the tracks as well. There's lots of things you can do. Say, for instance, you're not happy with recording, you want to get rid of it. What you do is you just swipe down on a, sorry, on a session. I've moved it there. But you can swipe onto any session. And it will clear it. And like that, you got to get it right. You can pre-record it or you can clear it or you can uh, cancel the recording. So when you want to merge, sorry, when you want, when you when you're happy with that mix, you could grab hold of this, drop it in, drop it into there like that, and get all that out and put it into there like that. So you've got, let's just close. Oh, let's actually, let's just. Now you've got all four of our recorded tracks inside there. And then we have our choice to clear, re-record or cancel. And again, it works with every, everything else. Long hold will let us do anything. Oh, also, what we can do now, if we wanted to, let me just stop that. If we long hold and we hit share, it allows us to upload it to, we can put it on audio copy or paste. We can email it to someone. We can put it on SoundCloud and we can transfer it via USB. Uh, Loopy does lots of other things than the other than the things I've gone through here. Okay, so but that's how simple it is to get going and start recording. All right, guys, see you later.